Health and Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center announcing a new initiative to hire more employees from disadvantaged areas. NBC5's John Hawk spoke with hospital leaders about what this could mean for their workforce. One of the largest hospital networks in the region, Dartmouth Health, joining 16 other health networks across the country in a new workforce commitment. 10% of new employees hired will be from economically disadvantaged areas. It's really about looking for ways to change our daily practices, such as hiring and purchasing, in order to help promote economic stability and advancement and well-being for the communities that we serve. Dartmouth Health is part of the Healthcare Anchor Network, which sets goals and initiatives in healthcare settings around the country. And with the workforce shortage in hospitals, this initiative is as crucial as ever. It's not just about the the outcome at the end, at the technical end of this initial pledge or the metric. It's really approaching the way we work in a different way. With over a thousand different kinds of jobs across the health network, they have a workforce development school to get people certifications and the necessary training to work in a hospital. We offered paid training programs for roles like medical assistants, licensed nurse assistants, pharmacy technicians, surgical technologists, roles that require some type of license or credential in order to get started. Dartmouth-run facilities are in rural settings, often limiting the ability to hire, offering unique challenges like the availability of housing, transportation, and child care. It all poses significant challenges to the hospital workforce, but with this initiative, officials are trying to make it easier to get a foot in the door. Part of this is barrier understanding and then barrier busting. Administration is looking through job descriptions to remove unnecessary minimum requirements, preventing people from entering into the health care workforce. The commitment is set through the end of 2027, but hospital officials say they will keep working to improve the workforce into the future. In Lebanon, John Hawks, NBC5 News.